What's up, people? It's your one and only Green Wing Man, and ladies and gentlemen, we're at top of the NFC East. Three and one in the season for September as we beat the LA Chargers 26 to 24. Ladies and gentlemen, let's sit down and talk about this game. Holy crap. This, I have to say, is the best bounce performance from this team by far. Honestly, Doug Peterson has called a very masterful game. I know this talent and us as fans want to rage on this dude so much, but you have to give him credit. He, and what's good about it is that he, he didn't, he didn't pull an Andy Reid in his early in his career where he tried to overthink it. He simply knew that the Chargers were not a very good defense when it comes to stopping the run. And he had three talented running backs to just run the ball down their throat. He kept it simple. He threw when he needed to throw the ball. It was just a well masterful game. He controlled clock and possession. This is such a well done game. I'm just so incredibly impressed by Doug Peterson for running this game. Um, other great points that start off by the one and only Lindsay Blunt. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is a monster beast. Over like 100 yards and 16 ca uh, catches. 136 yards, I believe, man. Amazing, especially during what I think was the third or fourth quarter. <laughs> oh my god, that monster breakout of a run! Monster breakout of a run where he was just stiff arming people and just knocking bodies off. The man is a beast. I'm going to take back everything I said. I thought this guy was a was a step too slow during the preseason. I guess it's clear that, you know what, some some veteran players just hate the preseason. It, it's not for them. And you know what? I'm so glad that, you know, they're they're not preseason players. It, it's good that this this energy, this this momentum is showing up in big games like this. This was incredible from the Gary Blunt blowing what what I think it was 75 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude is just pushing and stiff on me. He's like, get off of me, boy. Knocking everybody out, man. That boy was a beast. Another running back that I am incredibly impressed with is was Wendell Smallwood. Um after that Giants after that Giants victory, you know, losing uh, Darren Sproles for the rest of the season, I, you know, it was a little bit worrying on where we were going to find this kind of production. And not to say that Window Smallwell is no Darren Sproles, but you have to, you have to give the boy credit for stepping into that role and doing very good, um, managing to get that touchdown on that final, what I think was uh, that three and one in the fourth quarter, man, uh, to really kind of seal the deal for that victory, man. So Windows Marvel will play very good as well as also was catching passes from the back, also did a little bit wide receiving. So, you know, Window, Window Smallwood was incredibly impressive. Uh, Corey Clement also pretty impressive, not like last time, but also was able to get a couple good yards down, down the field. And it was just such a well controlled game. Well controlled game. Carson Wentz played, you know, very good. Did not turn the ball over. It had one touchdown. Well, he threw 163 yards. I think he threw a lot more than that. I think that was the half score. I sit down, check the score ten. But uh, one touchdown to his name in this game. Carson Wentz is amazing. The boy, you know, and, and what's so great about Carson Wentz, man, he's a big boy, man. He is, he is, he is the combination of Ben Roethlisberger and Aaron Rodgers. The fact that he not only has that big body that you can't take him down, but he also can beat you with his feet too. And now again, I'm happy that he's not only in Russia, man. But you know, the fact that he can kind of beat you with his feet and the dude is an athlete, man, is so incredible. Um, hopping on to the defense, man. You know what, without 
not having Fletcher Cox <laughs> Fletcher Cox on in, in that lineup. Oh my god, like this defense, this front line did very good. You know, they got at the quarterback right off out of the gate with the first play. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Long goes for the fumble and we got the recovery. So right out the gate, our defense, our front line on, on the defense side does some work. Now, yes, there were moments where we did give up big plays, um, you know, that, that, that luckily did not hurt us down at the end. You know, it was long games, but you know, for the first, for that first half of the game, it was really, you know, it was really conservative football played by Doug Peterson and, and, and the Philadelphia Eagles. And you know what? They, they put it in the hands of Jake Elliott, man, going pretty much perfect through all of his kicks. So, you know, props to Jake Elliott, uh, once again, doing his job as a kicker. Um, you know, if he continues to do this, I might actually start to come around to like kickers again, man. So, uh, props to Jake Elliott for doing his job too. And uh, you know what, other than that, I, again, other than, you know, the defense giving up one or two big plays, this was a very well called out game. I can't think of anything truly bad about this game. This just was well executed from both sides of the ball. Both Doug and Jim Schwartz called a fantastic game. <laughs> very impressive. I, I, I'm not gonna, I, I, it's just, I guess there's really nothing much for me to rant about this. It was just a really well called call game. Now again, there might be a couple of things. Um, well, there's one thing, Torrey Smith missing a couple of catches. Um, I don't want to bash the dude because, you know, it might be down the road. He might be able to make a big play. But right now, Torrey Smith hasn't been looking uh, too good um, as of late. Um, and, you know, again, Carson's deep ball isn't the best, though. But, you know, really, but it was adequate enough for us to win this game. So, yeah. <laughs> We're three and one Eagles, man. We're three and one in the division right now. We're three and one, and we're leading the division. I mean, the Giants are pretty much done. They're pretty much in the coffin as we speak. The funerals tomorrow, and you know, the and Dallas took a step back today, losing to the Rams. And I'm really surprised with the Rams, honestly. Uh, Jared Goff is actually as, is pretty good than I thought. So I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about the Rams when we come to face them, I think, in December. I believe it's somewhere in December when we have to make the trip to you, uh, to the LA Rams. Other than that, great game. Um, I want it. Philadelphia, Eagles Nation, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments and please make sure to subscribe to my Twitter and Facebook page as well as my YouTube page, man. I would love to hear your thoughts about this game and other cool stuff that I will sit down and post down over the weeks. Until then, Eagles Nation, ladies and gentlemen, you guys stay fly.